I'm Liz McFall, I'm Head of Sociology here at the Open University. Now, about five or six years ago, I was in the middle of production of a course called DD206, The Uses of Social Science. This was an interdisciplinary social science course that was trying to explore the different ways in which social science acts to describe, understand and enact the social world. At that time, I knew Florence Nightingale, like many people do, primarily as someone who had been heavily involved in the establishment of modern nursing, who had gone out to the Crimean War, who was widely known as the Lady of the Lamp. Um, but I knew nothing much else beyond that. I went one weekend to Steeple Claydon, to Claydon House, which I didn't realise at the time was a house that Florence Nightingale was very connected to because her sister, Parthenope, had, had married into the Verley family whose um, ancestral seat it was. While I was there, I saw a picture which memorialised a saying of Florence Nightingale, which basically argued that in statistics, only in statistics can we truly understand God's design. I was fascinated by this because it, it came very close to some of the issues we were wrestling with at the time, looking at social science and looking at statistics and the way in which statistics provide a tool of knowing the social world. They provide knowledge about the social world that no other form of evidence can provide. And I had not made any connection between statistics and Florence Nightingale at that point. But I soon discovered that Florence Nightingale was actually not simply a nurse, but she was a mathematical and statistical whiz kid. Um, so when she had arrived at the hospital in the Crimea, she discovered fairly early on that soldiers were dying in huge numbers, not as a result of injuries sustained in battle per se, but as a result of the care they were receiving in hospital. So she improved hygiene, she improved food protocols, she did many things, but she also gathered a huge amount of evidence which she used to try to lobby the government to improve the hospital infrastructure, to improve the hospital equipment. The evidence fell on deaf ears for a long time until she decided that what she needed to do was not provide government with long, dry statistical reports that they were not reading but she had to represent the statistical evidence differently. So she came up with um, what are now known as um, the Rose Diagrams or Coxcombs, which, if you can see this, basically they look a little bit like a pie chart that spreads out and the longer blue petals provide a graphical representation of how many soldiers are dying as a result of hospital infection rather than a result of their... Um, battleground injuries. It makes it very hard to deny where the death is coming from and it's something you can see at a glance what's going on rather than having to pour through long statistics that can easily be ignored. So this is why she has such a strong connection. Um, she was a pioneer in the visualisation of data to learn how to know the world differently.